Christmas Eve From the book of Isaiah The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. In the name of that same Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary must have been exhausted. There's a reason they call childbirth labor, and that's especially true the first time around. Joseph was probably strung out too, what with all the stress of travel and registering for taxes amidst the crowds, and struggling to secure lodging for a wife who's about to give birth any moment. Were they both feeling helpless, swept away by forces beyond their control? And then there were those shepherds who literally walked in darkness. Did the crowds for the Roman registration increase crime by poaching a lamb or two when demand-driven inflation pushed honest purchase out of reach? Isaiah speaks of joy at the multiplication of the nation, but December is neither the time of harvest nor the lambing season. Those shepherds no doubt were keeping watch for more than the usual predators. Small wonder then, that they were terrified when the angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them. These first participants must have felt stretched thin, little knowing about the glory they were positioned to behold. Amid all this exhaustion and confusion, it is very good news both to them and to us that all that glory and praise and the light shining in the darkness does not begin with human zeal. For now then, take as your model the sleeping child. Later the child will wake, will cry as babies do, but for now he's at rest. This child has been born for us, given to us as the gift, as the seed we are to tend, and also as the seed from whom we ourselves are the harvest. This rest, this grace, this joy, this time for simply gazing upon the splendor of God is what enables us to renounce impiety and worldly passions and in the present day live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly. Only by receiving the harvest of God's zeal are we enabled to be zealous for good deeds on our own and others' behalf. Like the shepherds, we have come and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. For this moment, let that be enough. Let us glorify and praise God for all we have heard and seen. In the name of that same God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 